Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a nice cold day here at Rose Cottage Acres. I am out in the garden the last week of November and I am harvesting vegetables. So I wanted to invite you to come along with me and see what we can find. Well, the kale looks pretty promising, doesn't it? I think it's time to get ourselves enough kale to make some kale chips. I think a little bit of this mustard too. Some spinach. I think I'll fill up this bowl here. These guys really, really took a severe beating from the cabbage moths this year. They really went at them. And some of the damaged leaves I cut off and give to the animals. The ones that are kind of in the way of me getting into the plant need to go anyway. Now, since this is a winter, you don't want to prune too severely. You want to make sure you leave enough on the plant to keep it growing and healthy still. This is a really nice mustard. It is great on sandwiches, inside of a salad. It doesn't have too strong a taste, but it does add a nice little bite to an um, otherwise kind of quiet little salad. So I'm not going to pick too much because I just want to add a little to a sandwich later on today. Let's grab a little scarlet cow while we're at it. This is, I don't know if it's scarlet or red Russian, because it looks purple to me, but it's one of the two. Oh, I see an intruder. I didn't even think about looking on here for new cabbage worms because it has been so cold. But yeah, the Remy fabric makes it so much cozier under there that they've hatched out. So the Remy fabric makes it so much warmer underneath that cabbage worms hatch out and just start devouring the plants. Isn't that amazing? Here guys. Because I am organic in my gardening practices, these little worms are a great source of protein for my quail. And they did just gobble one up, but now they're hiding from me. They'll come over and get the other two, hopefully before they manage to make their way up the kale that I have in here for them and have a great little feast. I could pick more things but I don't need anything else. I've got quite a few green patches throughout the garden yet. Green onion, little radishes are getting there but they're not quite ready. Oh, Let's get a little bok choy while we're here though. I did end up covering this bok choy just to keep the quality of the leaves up. It doesn't need it. It's very winter hardy. But I did want it to stay nice. Just a few leaves to add to my green. I don't like to pick too heavily in the winter because things do grow very slowly. Which is why I have so many different 
spots where I have different kales and bok choys and chards and lettuces growing because they do take a lot longer to regrow. Lost him. Just a few more purple bok choy leaves. And a few leaves of chard. And I am heading in because the wind has really picked up again. One additional little comment as I wrap up today's harvest video. In the winter, it is super important to have a good pair of clippers or scissors to harvest with. Your plants already are undergoing so much stress that they don't need additional stress from being torn or ripped accidentally. So these really help reduce stress as you harvest. I hope you enjoyed seeing me do this harvest on the last week of November as much as I enjoy getting out here and picking some fresh food. And I hope this inspires you if you haven't already started a fall winter garden to do so next year. It is really, really wonderful to come out and have fresh healthy food as I head into December. <music>